Hello YouTube, this is Necrostevo, and you're watching my 53rd narrated Wi-Fi battle. Hope you all are having a great day. This is a battle that I had against the Mr. Shadow Blaze, who also uploads on YouTube, so please go check out his channel, as uh, he uploads some pretty interesting stuff and has some pretty good uh, narrations himself. I uh, realize that uh, my videos on my, uh, if you all look at my other stuff, my narration that I have going up, I get uh, pretty good views on that, so if you all haven't gone and checked out that narration for the Nuzlocke that I'm narrating, it's actually like a narrated story where I'm only just reading it, but I would love some feedback on that, so please go check that out if you get the chance. Anyways, let's get into the battle. Uh, he brought a hyper-offensive team to this battle, which I thought was interesting. I haven't really faced one of those before. And I brought a team that I actually thought about before uh, bringing it into this battle. We both start out with our fire types, and my Intimidate lowers his attack, so I figured I could take whatever he wanted to do, even if it was an Earthquake or something, and do some decent damage. I was hoping he'd overpredict, but actually he misclicks on the first turn and goes for Flare Blitz. Fine by me, I get off my choice Banded Flare Blitz as well, and that puts him at critical HP, uh, which is fine. Uh, I take a ton of recoil damage, which is a little bit unfortunate, because Darmanitan has decent uh, HP. Uh, but here I don't know what he wants to go for, so I'm going to switch out into my Blastoise. Just to see what he wants to do, I was hoping the recoil from the Flare Blitz would kill him. And it, even if it didn't, I could just stay in and surf or something. But, uh, he lives the recoil. So, I just was gonna go for the safe move. I have Roar on Blastoise in case he did switch. I wasn't sure if he wanted to switch or not. Uh, but I just decided to go for the safe move, because he has a lot of Pokemon that can hit me very easily, so... Uh, no sense in trying to mess around there against a hyper-offensive team. He goes on into a Zelf, aptly named Willpower, uh, and I know a Zelf can carry a plethora of moves, including Grass Knot, and Blastoise is pretty heavy. I didn't know if he had the Grass Knot, so I switch out into Ferrothorn to see if that move is going to be fired my way. I know that they can also carry Flamethrower, so I didn't know if he'd have that or not, but he goes for the safe Psychic which would have hurt Blastoise greatly, so that switch out was, was just about right. And here to see if he has the Flamethrower, I swap back out to Blastoise, um, just to check to see if he has it. It's kind of early on in the game, so over-predicting, you know, that can be safe or unsafe. But he goes for Flamethrower, so not only am I able to get in some nice Life Orb recoil damage on him, I'm also able to see uh, peeking on his moveset there. Uh, since he didn't go for Grass Knot on Blastoise, I figured that maybe his other move, he probably has U-Turn, he probably has a uh, Hidden Power Ice for coverage or something like that. But here he goes for Nasty Plot, maybe expecting me to swap out, but now that I know the best move that he has against Blastoise is Psychic, and not Grass Knot, I stay in and go for Surf, which works out nicely because I'm able to take out that Azelf very cleanly. Uh, he probably would have been a huge threat to my team had he gotten the Nasty Plot off and if I had swapped out. But, you know, going for the safe move there helped out a lot. Here he goes out into Shofu again. I knew no matter what he went for, since this is a physically defensive Blastoise, he could not take me out. And he goes for Super Power, which is fine by me, because that's definitely not going to kill me without a crit. And I'm able to finish that off with Surf as well. So Blastoise killed two Pokemon in this battle. Put in some good work there. I actually took Hydro Pump off of this Blastoise right before the battle started. Because before I was using Hydro Pump, uh, I maxed out the PP, but... Often, often the case is that I just run out of Hydro Pumps, uh, normally because I miss. So I switched it to Surf, so why not? Even though Hydro Pump is a signature move. Um, he goes on into a Tornadus here, and I was really afraid of this thing with my current team. So I just stayed in and went for the safe Surf, because I wasn't sure what he wanted to do. The Prankster ability, maybe set up Rain uh, so that he can hit Hurricanes, I didn't really know. He goes for Sub, which is fine, I get to just break the Sub. Um... I was also thinking about maybe going for Roar, just in case he did try to set up or anything like that, but he could also taunt me, so I didn't want to mess with any of that. Here he shows me that he is a physical Tornadus with the Flying Gym Boosted Acrobatics, and I was like, hey, maybe I can take that, and I'm watching the HP go down, and phew, I live with 5 HP, which means I'm able to get a nice chunk of damage off with Blastoise and put him critically low as well. Now he's not at a, at a level where he can actually sub up, which is fantastic. Uh... I didn't want to swap out in case he, you know, hit some weird magic number and randomly had enough to substitute. Uh, I stayed in and went for another surf, but he knocks me out with a brick break. So good job, Boxius. You did a great, uh, great amount of this battle. I go out to my Scarf Porygon Z. He has three or four Pokemon on his team weak against ice. 
The only thing on his team that resisted it was Lucario, and I thought he might swap out here, but again, I didn't really want to mess around against the Tornadus. And so Lucario comes in and takes quite a hefty chunk from that Ice Beam. It's not even a critical hit, and I didn't have the special attack boost. Uh, so that was annoying. Thinking that he might be physical, I swap out into Arcanine to get the Intimidate, and of course I'm at such low HP that, you know, it's not going to help much anyway. But he shows here that he has Nasty Plot, so he got a Nasty Plot as Elf, and he had a Nasty Plot Lucario. And that really, really worried me, because I know that those often carry Vacuum Wave, and he could pretty much hurt my team pretty badly with that thing. I have Cofagoras that can resist it, but then he might have Dark Pulse. So, uh, I go for Extreme Speed knowing that the priority is going to beat out Vacuum Wave, uh, which is fine. Ali, you really helped me out in this battle against not only this right here, but also getting in some nice critical damage against the Darmanitan. So, hoping that he'll overpredict and go for another Vacuum Wave, I go into Hitmonchan, and I'm just really praying that I live it, because I don't carry Mach Punch on this Hitmonchan, it's an agility set. Uh, so I barely live with 51 HP, and I finished that Lucario off with the close combat. Very, very nice. That really is just Hitmonchan's natural special defense bulk there showing off. Because I don't have any special defense EVs in this. I have a little bit of HP, but no special defense. And I think I have max speed, and the rest is all in attack. Uh, but anyways, he goes out into Dodrio. I, these things are often choice banded from what I've seen. His is actually focus sashed. So I just went on to my Cofagrigus, maybe expecting the quick attack just to finish me off. If not, he would go for the flying attack, which wouldn't do much damage to my defensive wall. Uh, and this is actually a mono attacking Cofagrigus, and only has Shadow Ball as an attack. But that worked out in this battle. I went for Will o Wisp in case he stayed in and tried, for, tried to go for a Shadow, uh, I'm sorry, a flying type attack. But that hits Tornadus, which is fine, because it's a physical Tornadus, and after two turns of burn, it's going to die. Uh, he goes for acrobatics, it does absolutely nothing to my Cofagrigus, and she gets the opportunity to go for Calm Mind. So you guess it, this is a Calm Mind Resto Chesto Cofagrigus, and it's worked out pretty well. I've swept some teams with it, assuming I get the things that are immune to the Shadow Ball out of the way, which is pretty easy to do thanks to Team Preview. So uh, that's an interesting thought. Things like that would be really hard to pull off beforehand without Team Preview, because your opponent could easily bring in something to wall you, so... If you all could leave some thoughts in the comments on what you all think about Team Preview and how it has changed the game. I like it personally, but... Anyways, he goes out into his Landorus, and... Based on the fact that he had two Nasty Plotters, I didn't think that this would be a subset, so I just went for the safe, safe Shadow Ball. But he goes for Sub, which... I guess he did that expecting me to maybe Will-O-Wisp, which I did think about doing, but I didn't really want to mess around against Landorus either, because these things can be pretty devastating as well. So he stays in there and he goes for Swords Dance, maybe expecting me to not kill or maybe even um, go for the Will-O-Wisp again. I kind of wish I had gone for the Will-O-Wisp, but he gets off for Swords Dance. I get the useful special defense drop. That did a nice chunk, though, considering this Cofagrius has no special attacking EVs. And once again, my Pokemon barely live the attack. A plus two stab Earthquake leaves my Cofagrius with 10 HP. This Cofagrigus I do have with the max defense IV. It does not have max HP, but I gave it as many HP IVs as I could. I mean EVs, excuse me. And here he goes out into his Dodrio, goes for the Drill Peck. In case he tried to do something weird, I went for rest, just in case. I know I couldn't hit him with the Shadow Ball, but I could rest up, wake up, and then burn him. Which would have been fat, that, that would have been, you know, a pretty good deal there. But he kills my ghost, so, uh, back to the, the Ecto plasm or whatever realm Cofagrigus comes from. Hopefully he just goes back and starts robbing some more graves. I go out into my hit munch and to lure him into going for the quick attack again. And this time I swap out and go to Ferrothorn so that he'll take a bunch of recoil damage. And that would also allow me to check to see if he was banded or not. But uh, since he is sashed, I you know, that brook is sash. Here he shows me that he has the acupressure and he gets the attack boost on the first one and that really worried me. Because I only have, the only things I have left are Porygon, Z-Hit, Munchan, and Ferrothorn. And with, you know, plus two stab quick attack, that's going to hurt about anything he hits since he has drill pack for uh, Ferrothorn. Especially since I don't have Mach Punch on Hit Munchan. But here he goes for Roost, presumably to get back out to the range where his Focus Sash will still be active. But, you know, since I paralyze him, that really helps out. And since he did Roost, he loses his Flying type, which means this Power Whip is going to do a ton to him. And I really just was leaving Ferrothorn in there to make sure that he didn't get up any more acupressures without losing some HP. 
Uh, here he shows me just how powerful that drill peck is. Because he goes for it, and I'm just watching my HP. I expected to take this better, and then I realized that it's a crit. Pretty sure that mattered, but, you know, it's it's at this point, I'm like, I really just need to take this thing out anyway. So knowing that Hitmonchan won't be able to outspeed or take a hit from it, I go out to my Scar Porygon Z. Knowing that he probably will just quick attack, I get the special attack boost just to seal the deal. I just have to live this quick attack, and that'll do it. So I'm watching my HP. It, that's a solid 2 hit KO, but fortunately I do live, and I go for Ice Beam to finish off that Dodrio. So thank you, the Mr. Shadow Blaze, for the battle. I hope you all do go check out his channel. I enjoyed this battle. Uh, so once again, I hope you all check out the narration I have on that Nuzlocke there. Or if you don't want to listen to me, just go check out her story on DeviantArt. Um, and please leave some feedback. I would love to hear your thoughts on the story and the developments. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye now.